Shalom, Shalom, Israel. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai, Wah, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations to you, sincere. I came out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth from the brother Shaman, the Great Millstone, Chicago. And um, I just had a quick impromptu lesson because the brother put this up. Uh, you know, Willie D, Willie D on here giving his opinion and, you know, whatever. Willie D, you know, some things he's hit, some things he's missed. He doesn't know the scriptures. Um, ultimately, you know, the elect are going to be by faith, but it's faith in the scriptures. All right, ultimately, you know, a lot of our people, no matter how good they intend or they try to sound or whatever, if you're not going off of the scriptures, then... You know, ultimately you're doomed to fail. All right, which is not to say that he's not of the elect, but uh, you know, everybody has an opinion. But you know, what does the Lord have to say? And that's that's our main point. We go off of what the Lord says, not our own opinion. All right, but um, yeah, this article popped up, which we've we've touched on this topic for years. You know, Israel. Uh, the well, excuse me, the state, the Israeli state. Let me let me say it like that: the Israeli state. And then you've had a lot of Israelite, you've had a lot of Israelites <laughs> to move into the Israeli state, right? Which they've had issues. You know, they they moved them around, um, and now you know it's wartime, and uh, shit. Really, if if uh, this is all legit. Because you have a lot of misinformation and disinformation, but if if these people are to leave ASAP, then they, you're doing them a favor, right? Because the scriptures is clear what's going to happen to the land before the elect uh, dwells in it, and I want to highlight that real quick. All right, and the quick the quick comment I saw, which was interesting, says I'm a Black American who went to Israel in the 1980s. I will say this: if you are a Black Christian, they accept you. If you are black and claim to be a Jew, that's quite a different story. All right, which they accept those people of Ethiopia as the Falasha. All right, but we already know the case, man. When we <laughs> when we make our case, when we say who we are, all right, and that and it just proves the scriptures, man. Because what does it say in the in the in the land in the place where it said they are not my people? There it should be seen that they are my people. The one people who can't be. You know, and that's why the other nations, too, they're going to be astonished saying this is the people. You know, they're going to be astonished when they see us in our salvation. And all these things are coming soon, man. The shit is getting hot. You know, this ain't, you know, like in Genesis, it's, it's the cool of the day. All right, but now that that fire, right, that sword is over the earth, man, that that fire is kindled. And that's what the Lord is coming to add to, man, that, that, that extra flame. All right, let's get into it. Ezekiel 39. And 2. Uh, I started 1. Therefore thou, son of man, prophesy against Gog and say, Thus saith the Most High, Behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and leave but the sixth part of thee and will cause thee to bring, excuse me, I will cause thee to come up from the north parts and will bring thee upon the mounds of Israel. And I will smite thy bow out of thy left hand and will cause thine arrows to fall out of thy right hand. All right, so basically Russia is going to move against, like I say, the mounds of Israel. All right, Israel, the, the people who are in Israel. All right, which... It shows you that the scriptures is a mystery because in Isaiah 19, it refers to Egypt. It said, I will cause Egypt to err, right? Now, initially, when it says Egypt, it's talking about this place, America, right? But then if you understand the context of the scriptures, you understand what it's talking about. Later on, when it says the Egyptian and the Assyrian, you know that it's talking about the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. All right, so it's, it's a mystery, man. The scriptures is a big mystery with us hidden right in it. Global politics hidden right in it. Warfare hidden right in it. 
All right? Then it, what does it say? They will speak the language of Canaan. It actually, you know, refers to us speaking the language of Canaan, which we know to be the Hebrew. <laughs> and, hey, the Lord is cold, man. Put this thing together. Then he, you know, he put it put it like in a little riddle, right? A mystery. And 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 and, and you know, certain people who have put, picked this book up every Sunday of their life still can't get it because you know they just weren't set up to understand. Right, and call Halayim Yahweh Yahushai to have this understanding. You know, and may the Lord. Keep his spirit upon me, man. Pursuing the Psalms 51. Take not that, cast me not away. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. All right. It says, I will turn thee, uh, verse 3, I will smite thy bow out of thy left hand and cause thine arrows to fall out of thy right hand. Thou shalt fall upon the mountains of Israel, thou and all thy bands and the people that is with thee. I will give thee unto the ravenous birds of every sort and to the beasts of the field to be devoured. Thou shalt fall upon the open field, for I have spoken and said the Most High, and I will send a fire on Magog, and among them that dwell carelessly in the isles, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Now how would a fire, you know, reach to the isles, and reach here and reach there? It's on my destruction. All right, because I don't, I don't remember uh, in history, in the scriptures even, when Magog... And God moved against uh, Israel, right? Uh, uh, Japheth. I don't. I don't. Salak. That's the brother, Salak. Right, but I don't remember uh, Japheth ever moving against Israel and doing any of these things. You know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. But I don't remember that ever happening. This is prophecy. All right, and this is what's gonna happen, man. I will give thee unto the ravenous birds of every sort. Yeah, because it's going to be destruction. It's going to be a lot of bodies. And the birds is going to eat. Thou shalt fall upon the open field. For I have spoken and said the Lord. And I will send a fire on Magog. And among them that dwell carelessly in the isles. And they shall know that I am the Lord. So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people Israel. And I will not let them pollute my holy name anymore. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, they shall know. Yeah, because right now, you know, in Israel, they're playing around, man. Like I said, they, they got uh, they got mosques in Israel. They got uh, alternative lifestyle <laughs> goings on, heathens, with the bad music. Like, you can get on Snapchat, you know, you know, people put up little videos and clips and stuff. You can go over to Israel on the little map, you know, and you can see all of the stuff over there. And they try so hard to make it look, you know, ancient and it's just, it's dry. It's dry, man. It's not the, the perfection of beauty that the scriptures uh, mention it as. All right, especially with uh, the Palestine, you know, the people of Palestine shooting rockets at it and, and, and all of that stuff. Alright, and another part of that, he said, my holy name, I will not let them pollute. Hey, the, 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 the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the whole world is about to see and hear it and know it. And, 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 and have obeisance for it. The Lord is about to put respect back on his name. Behold, it has come and it is done, said the Most High. This is the day whereof I have spoken. And they that dwell in the cities of Israel shall go forth and shall set on fire and burn the weapons, both the shields and the bucklers, the bows, the arrows, and the hand staves and the spears, and they shall burn them with fire seven years. That never happened. And so that they shall take no wood out of the field, neither cut down any of the forest, for they shall burn the weapons with fire, and they shall spoil those that spoil thee, and rob those that rob them. So you don't want to, you know, you don't want to be in that land when all this is going down. You don't want to be in that land when it's warfare and it's troops and, and 
Boom, boom, explosions. All right, and it shall come to pass in that day that I will give unto Gog a place there of graves in Israel, the valley of the passengers on the east of the sea, and it shall stop the noses of the passengers. Oof, the smell. And they sh there shall they bury Gog and all his multitude, and they, they shall call it the valley of Hamagog. And it's going to tell you when you read down. Let me keep reading. And seven months shall the house of Israel be bearing of them that they may cleanse the land. Yea, all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be to them a renown the day that I shall be glorified, saith Yahweh Bashanel Shai. And they shall sever out men of continual employment. That's talking about slavery passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse it after the end of seven months shall they search and basically that was, that's what happens man the heathens they're going to be used to uh, bury the dead because what does it say second Ezra 9 and 3 therefore when there shall be seen uproars and Earth, excuse me, earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest, even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land. Oh, that's big. I got to go back. Everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. There yeah, you believe. And you know, we believe. We're not in Israel right now. We believe the Lord is going to give us that salvation. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to, you know, be called up to Him in the air. By faith and by works. Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land. So if you don't have those, you're not necessarily going to be saved. Or see salvation. And within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away. Despitefully shall dwell in torments. Their torments. It's a lot of, you know, same shall no death by pain. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And they that have loathed my law while they had liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Now that's talking about the unfaithful, which and I'm not going to say that those people in Israel are unfaithful, but I don't think I've seen them calling on the right name. They call on uh, Yahweh. Right? They call on uh, Yehuda. It's like the stuff that Jake is doing over there is like an offshoot of, uh, you know, the, 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 the wrong stuff that, uh, that, that, that uh, Amalek is doing. You know, it's like they took the, the form, like the apostles mentioned that, how uh, some of the stuff that uh, Abba Bivens and Ariyah took, you know, they, they, they kind of reverse engineered um, certain stuff that the small has did and then 
you know, went into the scriptures and, um, uh, you know, some, some of the, 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 the words and the stuff, you know, wasn't, wasn't necessarily correct. And that's been our thing. You know, it's not time to go back. We, you know, we, hey, we've had opportunities, but the, hey, we want to go up with the, uh, elect, <laughs> want to be beamed up into that ship. You know, to really, you know, I, I want spiritual power, man. I want, I want to put my hands on the enemy. I want to be a, 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 a threshing instrument for the Lord. <laughs> All right, hey, I want to, I want to be one of those. So like, I want to be one of those who have not tasted death. Immortal, you know, but you know, we'll see. It's up to the Lord. All right, hey, but verse 12. The same must know it after death by pain. So we'll see at the end of the day who the elect is. Um, but we know, hey, I know, I know that those names are real because I've called on them. I've called on those names and, and the Heavenly Father answered me. All right, I had a couple of, a little more. Because sec, sec, Second Edges 5 gets graphic. Goes in to, to what's about to happen. Second Ezra 5 and 2, but iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest or that thou hast heard long ago. And the land that thou seest now to have root shall thou see wasted suddenly. It's about to be destruction out here, man. You know, this place, that place. But Babylon is where, um, you know, the apostles always go into this. Babylon is where you know, the, the, the main action is happening. But if the Most High grant thee to live, thou shalt see after the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night and the moon thrice in the day. And blood shall drop out of the wood and the stone shall give his voice and the people shall be troubled. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of bloodshed. And even he shall rule whom they look not for that dwell upon the earth and the fowls shall take their flight away together. And basically, hey, we already know it, man. Rulership is coming. The kingdom is coming. And all the Lord is about to give the earth over to one that is profitable. All the Esau's lies have failed him. Everything has failed him. To fail. F. <laughs> and this entire experiment of America, this 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 cesspool cup of uh, uh, of uh, iniquity and death and despair and all of the the wicked inventions that Issa device you know crack and drill music and you know stripper culture you know all this all this disgusting ass shit that that's just. You know, we, we have to sit here and look at, man. I was just talking to a brother and, uh, you know, we were talking about, you know, back in the day, a lot of our grandparents, great grandparents, you know, they would go down south to get them a wife, you know, because, you know, the woman still had like some some home values, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't, um, you know, women in the city, man, are different. You know, those women in the country, they, they're different. All right? She wasn't she wouldn't hold out, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Which, you know, woman being a woman, but that's what a lot of Jakes used to do. But even now, you know, with the phone, with the television, this shit is everywhere. You go down south, it's the, you, know, it ain't, you know, it's the same. You go where here, there, it's the same. Mexico, the, the, the northern kingdom, southern, wherever. It's all the same. You know, this place, it just has to be destroyed. 
It's polluted. <laughs> so, Lord willing, it's edifying. Uh, matter of fact, verse 6, And the fowl shall take their flight away together, and the Sodomitess sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night, which many have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. All right, and basically, this goes into uh, nuclear radiation. Because it goes in, salt water shall be found and sweet. That, that, that bitter, you know, wormwood. It's talking about the missile. In the, in the particular verse I'm talking about, uh, was it Revelation? Right? The earth, you know, the earth is about to be completely contaminated. We're going to need to clean it. These things are going to be need to be cleaned, reordered. The heathens, they're going to have to wash and bathe and, and, and you know, present themselves, with, present us with oils and present themselves you know, order's about to be reestablished, man. So I look forward to it, man. Call Lawyer Mla, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai.